It is time once again for one of my terrific video reviews that you love so much. This is the Tech Gooch, and I've got a good one for you. Um, this one is another in my netbook line, and uh, I'm actually doing one that I had requests for. So, uh, if you can see here, da -da -da -da, it's Windows XP time. So, yes, Windows XP, wonderful Windows XP, good times. This I bought, purchased actually the year it came out when I was in college. So, yeah, good times, Windows XP Professional. That's what I'll be putting on next. Uh, this, it's, I'm probably uh, going to do, I don't know which method I'm going to do, I'm probably going to do uh, straight disk from the from a USB uh, CD drive I have. As you know, the netbook does not have a CD drive or an optical drive in it, so I will put it in, and uh, from there, I'll kind of go a little bit about it. Everybody knows what XP is, so there's no big secrets. So I'll get it going, and uh, hopefully you'll enjoy. Now I have Windows XP on my machine, um, and to be honest with you, it's Windows XP, as everybody would think. Well, but the thing I was going to show you right now, and while I talk here, is I'm going to do a boot. And that way you can see how fast it actually boots. I find that Windows XP is going a lot faster and a lot more smoother than Windows 7 does on it. However, I'm going to do a video on Windows 7 after I do a fresh install of that. Everything that's fresh installed always runs better. So, here's the netbook. Hi. I just hit the power button. And she is going. Hopefully. Um, and what I found is it's, to be honest, this little atom has as much power, if not more, than I have a, a 2.8 gigahertz Pentium 4 with hyper-threading, uh, and I had 2 gigs of RAM in that, same, I guess, 2 gigs, 2 gigs, and the atom seems to be, if if nothing else, it's, it's just as smooth, but then again, this is a fresh system, and there's nothing really on it, so... As you can see, it boosts in real fast into, into XP. Um, no problems there. Uh, everything's loading up as it is set. Uh, right now I have uh, well, Microsoft Security Essentials uh, on it, and obviously it's not quite up and running just yet, but it's going to be shortly. Uh, the thing that I did notice, however, there it goes, so now the security's up and going, everything's basically running now. Internet's on, everything. Uh, like I was saying, the thing I did notice, however, with Windows XP is that unlike Windows 7, I put Windows 7 disk, or, you know, I installed Windows 7 with via the disk with an external uh, CD drive. Um, when you put Windows 7 on here, as soon as it's loaded, it's ready to roll for you, you go for it. However, with XP on this Dell Mini 10V, there were a lot of drivers missing. A lot, and that is with Dell uh, XP Service Pack 2 out of the disk and Service Pack 3 installed properly thereafter. I had to go to the Dell site and download the drivers for the internet, both wireless and Ethernet. I had to download the drivers for the Atom chipset for the, the, the thing. That's not a big deal, though. Uh, I had to install the audio drivers myself. I had to install the uh, video drivers. Uh, obviously, it the video drivers work except for as soon as you install the video driver I think it's 800 by 600 revolution if you don't download the drivers for it so there's a lot of things that uh, XP does not have that Windows 7 has in terms of drivers for this newer equipment uh, on the other hand as you see it's a very it's peppy uh, I mean if I let's see if I load a piece of software here uh, Windows Media Player let's say um, there's no problems with it. It's not sluggish whatsoever. It's it feels nice and fresh install of Windows XP. It's just like it was on my Pentium 4, if not better, to be honest. So, um, however, it just it has the downfalls of being Windows XP and not Windows 7. A lot of people that I know actually are still XP buzzed about XP for some reason, but I'm a huge Windows 7 advocate over XP. And if nothing else, this it, it, it just has the old Windows feel. The start bar is like the old start bar was. Um, I'm a big, you know, obviously you're never going to have arrow glass on this, even in Windows 7. So 
if you even if you do run it, it's gonna run real slow. So I never I would never get run it anyway. But uh, you know, arrow is a very nice feature. But in the netbook terms, Windows Seven is is a little nicer, especially with the the start bar being a little thicker and the nice big buttons. Uh, the uh, the launcher bar, I guess you want to call it now. Um, but when, I'm not really gonna go too far into it. And you know what Windows is? Windows is Windows, and Windows XP is Windows XP. It's a big piece of legacy software that everybody basically knows. So, with that said, my review on Windows XP on my uh, Mini 10V is big thumbs up. If you are a Windows XP fan, run Windows XP on it because it runs very well. Uh, I have no problems. I had no problems after I get got the. You have to do a little tweaking, obviously, with a lot of systems. You know, if you're used to building your own system or anything like that, you're gonna have to fool with drivers anyway. Um, even with Dell systems, you have to. They give you the CD. Uh, however, with these, you don't. So you have to just. It was really easy though. You just go to the Dell site, the support.dell.com. I put in the the, whatever you call it, the code, the uh, service tag code, um, and, boom. You choose. They have XP as a listing as a, as a, for the drivers for it, and there you go. So, if you want XP on it, it runs very well. To be honest, it probably runs a lot smoother and faster than Windows Seven does. So, uh, I don't know if it was too much faster or anything like that compared to Jolly Cloud, or uh, it definitely was. XP seems a lot peppier than uh, Ubuntu Netbook does, to me at least. So, um, but that's neither here nor there. But XP runs great, and that's in Service Pack, so Service Pack 3. So, uh, again, my comment section is down there, and my subscribe button is up there, so please do that. If you have any uh, suggestions for future OSs to install on my netbook, please, by all means, let me know. Uh, if you don't post it on a comment down below, go ahead and go on to my... Uh, my main page and post it down there. I actually posted a, a question asking uh, viewers to suggest different things. I have a couple, few more that I've been looking at and I'm going to try to do next, but uh, hopefully you got an idea of what uh, Windows XP is like. It's Windows XP and it runs pretty good on an Atom. So, uh, again, thanks for watching and I hope you see you again soon.